Why don't we go next to, oh, I don't know. How about, uh, so hard to say, maybe Marcus from Sacramento. Marcus from Sacramento, welcome to the program. What's on your mind today? Uh, hello, David. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Oh, yes. So uh, my question is kind of a kind of a twofold question. I'm actually half Palestinian and I'm very left leaning, obviously. Um, but um, I was pretty disgusted by the terrorist attacks by Hamas. And uh, it, it almost it, to me, it almost shelved all of the any good nature that the Palestinians may have had. I think was really, really shelved by Hamas's actions. And I'm almost at the point now where I'm like, you know what, Israel, you, you may have to do what you have to do. I'm not happy with it. But I guess my question is, is that how do how do Palestinians rebuild any semblance of sympathy from globally, I guess, especially from the West? Well, listen, I mean, much of the left in the United States already is sympathetic even after what happened. So to, to some degree, I mean, I know what you're saying and we'll deal with it. But to some degree, there is a lot of that sympathy. I mean, you know, in the immediate aftermath of the attack, there were a bunch of pro Palestinian rallies which said we're not actually celebrating what Hamas did, but we're anticipating that Israel is going to do something bad. And so we're coming out as a reminder. You know, I, I think the question is a good one because it, it seems like the best polling we have is that about 50 percent of Gazans in some sense support what Hamas is doing in general and 50 percent don't. Now, I'm not saying the terrorist attack specifically, but I'm saying generally the approach of Hamas. That's like the polling I've seen. Maybe it's not right. Maybe it's difficult to get accurate polling. What can be done to get Gazans out of the grip of Hamas? Because even if you start taking out Hamas leaders, you you still have leadership in Qatar and elsewhere. You're it, it, it's not a a uh, it's it's you know m many of the combatants in Gaza when it gets difficult they'll just you know they're wearing civilian clothes they'll put their guns down and go Hamas I don't know anything about Hamas I was never in Hamas so there's this fluid nature of how do you take out Hamas or how do you release Gazans from the grip of Hamas I don't have the answer. What I know is that there are a few approaches that Israel might take. One is this bloodthirsty approach that many right wingers have been proposing, which is they talk about turning Gaza into a parking lot. Israel has the weapons to do it. Israel is not doing it because it's not the approach that uh, th that that they want to take. And that's good because that's a, an insane approach doing nothing. Everybody knows Israel is not going to do nothing. So then what you're faced with is what is expected to at some point start, even though it keeps getting delayed for weeks and weeks or for a number of different reasons, uh, some kind of ground incursion that will combine with special forces and, and, and clandestine operators that are obviously already in Gaza to try to do as much as possible to take out the weapons depots and the leaders and, and so on and so forth. And of course, inevitably, innocent civilians are going to die and then the entire cycle will, will start over again. It's an insane situation where I don't believe that Benjamin Netanyahu is going to oversee real progress towards peace. And Hamas obviously is not going to oversee progress towards peace. And so the leadership needs to be changed. It, it, it's it's such a quagmire. I know what a solution would look like, but I don't know how we even get to the circumstances where that can be made a reality. I just don't. I, I don't see Netanyahu going anywhere right now. It's it's no. pretty much rally around the leader time. But I, I, I guess is it is it come to the point where uh, should we even be discussing maybe Israel annexing Gaza and making Gazans Israeli citizens? Because at this point, the Palestinians and I hate to say it, they look like they can't self govern at least in Gaza. So at, at this point, are we leaning? Well, towards they're not allowed to. I mean, you know, they, I, I think you have to be. You, there's no self-governance because Hamas has other priorities. Hamas doesn't care about civilian deaths. Hamas is using human shields. They have a so-called Palestinian health ministry or whatever, which is just controlled by Hamas. So Hamas does not allow any of that governance. I think the most natural quote solution that people bring up is even if the Palestinian authority that governs the West Bank isn't perfect, um, it would be a huge improvement to allow Gaza to be governed by the Palestinian Authority. I think it would be an improvement, but how do you even get there? I don't know. 
Yeah, you're you're probably right. Well, thank you for taking my my uh, call, David. My pleasure. Marcus from Sacramento. Great to hear from you. Extraordinarily uh, complicated and difficult situation. If you live in the United States, did you know that anyone can access your most private information using people search sites? These are sites populated with information from data brokers. They have access to your social security number, login credentials, addresses, location history, even your online activity. That is not information about yourself that you want floating around. And the solution is our sponsor Incogni. With just a couple of clicks, you can grant Incogni permission to go to work for you. They contact the data brokers on your behalf. They say remove this person's data and they ensure that your private data will stay private. Incogni will also handle disputes on your behalf, keeps you updated on progress every step of the way. They tell you how many data search sites they've gotten your information removed from, which ones they're working on and other information. So this can protect you from identity theft. It can keep entities from looking up your information like insurance companies, financial institutions, your employer. It can cut down on spam and telemarketing calls. And the first hundred people to use the code Pacman get 60 percent off when you go to incogni.com slash Pacman. The link is down below.